Okay, it's uh, <clears throat> six o'clock. I'd like to call the Tuscarora Township Planning Commission meeting to order. Uh, roll call: Kelly Ashford here. Jane McGinnis here. here. Mike Sherveny here. Lisa Schofield here. here. John Johns here. here. And Don Webb here. All here. here. Okay. Uh, oh, this is for Kelly. Okay. Oh, thank you. Board comments on the agenda? Any comments? Yeah, I, th I think we want to, didn't you want to flip the um, bylaws? Well, you got it already oh, flipped. Yeah. You flipped it already for me. You must have done that when you were at McDonald's. <laughs> so is everybody's, uh, because I think I had two copies. Um, does everybody's have the bylaws after the okay. Have the minutes. meeting minutes and then the bylaws? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, any public comments on our agenda? Yes, sir. There is no public comment at the end of the agenda. Oh, that's an error. <laughs> Thank you. We'll put that on there. <laughs> that's a good public comment. <laughs> so that goes out of board comments. So public comments goes uh, behind the review of master plan chapter four and so on. So. If there is no public comments on the agenda, uh, everyone's had a chance hopefully to review the minutes from June 1st. Uh, do we have any uh, issues or additions or corrections to the agenda or to the minutes? Well, I, I kind of do um, and I kind of don't. Um, we said at the meeting and it's in the minutes that we were going to review chapter 5 and go through 6 again and we do not have chapter 5 yet. So that was a mistake we made at the meeting? Yeah, but that wasn't a mistake at the meeting. We were planning to have Chapter 5. Well, we thought we had Chapter 5, I think, didn't we? Uh, well, I thought if we didn't have it, we would get it. Okay. But apparently we didn't get it. So no, I'm, we did not get it. So attached to your minutes is a copy of the email from Diane, uh, Denise Klein saying that Chapter okay. 5 is not done yet. So do we want to correct the minutes or just attach that to the... Just make an attachment because um, the minutes I are think just leave it. Okay. Okay. Uh, any more discussion? Do we have a motion to approve the minutes from June 1st? I'll make a motion. Second? I'll second it. Yeah. Lisa seconded. Okay. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So we approve the minutes. <clears throat> okay, the next item on the agenda is uh, the bylaws that we uh, put together, I think, back in January. And uh, we had, uh, I think that we had the word uh, will prepare at the capital improvement program back then. And then uh, I think it was maybe March or April, we had a discussion and because the board has the ability to change it <coughs> to whoever they want to do the capital improvement, we put the word may. But in order to uh, be consistent with the law from 2008, and the ordinance 40 that we submitted to the board, uh, the word should be shall prepare a capital improvement program. And I think the board is, the township board is acceptable with the word shall because that's what the uh, law from 2008 said and that's what our ordinance 40 says. So I'd like to make a motion that under uh, bylaws number F, we change it to say, shall prepare a capital improvement program. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Um, oh, again, okay. no, can we discuss first? Well, yeah, so we can discuss it. Okay, so I attach to the um, bylaws. The second page is the law, the excerpt from the law. <coughs> uh, the reason we chose May, and I'm not opposed to changing it to shall, but I would prefer that we um, put the whole entire sentence um, that's in the law because the law says um, it says to further the desirable future development of the local unit of government under the master plan a planning commission after adoption of the master plan shall annually prepare a capital improvements plan or program of public structures and improvements unless the planning commission is exempted from this requirement by charter or otherwise if the commission is um, exempted, the legislative body shall either prepare 
and adopt a capital improvements program separate from or as part of the annual budget or shall delegate the preparation of the capital improvements program to the chief elected official or non-elected official administrative official subject to final approval by the legislative <coughs> body which is why we put may in because the law says may. we can be exempt and then um, that same in section 11 of the draft ordinance which is your third page that same paragraph is um, in the ordinance because that's what uh, mta has in their ordinance so, so we can change it to shell, so, but I think we should have the whole sentence. So if we <clears throat> change it to shell, we would put section 11 in, the, in our bylaws, which yep. reflects the... Would be the same, yeah. Yeah, it would be the same as what the law said. Yep. And that's, again, that says that's we shall prepare or cost prepare by the Township Planning Commission. And just show what the law says. Yeah, so if we just, if we want to change it, well, I, I don't know if we need to go that far, but if you, know, if you guys feel we need to do that, then that's... If, if we're going to make a change, I think we should put the exact word in of what the public wants that we should do. And then all three documents are consistent. Okay. I mean, it's... Do we have, do we have any more discussion on that? Do we want to just <clears throat> change number F to uh, reflect section 11 of our ordinance that says the township board does a capital improvement plan to the planning commission the further to desirable future development of the township under the master plan township board uh, to further um, after the master plan is adapted adopted shall prepare or cause to be prepared prepared by the township planning commission or by designated non-elected administrative official a capital improvement plan of public structures improvement showing those structures and improvements in a general order and their priority for the following six year period. The prepared, prepared capital improvement program is prepared by someone other than the township board shall be, if, I think that's what it means, the prepared capital improvement plan, if prepared by someone other than the township board shall be subject to final approval by the township board. The planning commission may be exempted from preparing the capital improvement plan. But that's up to the township board, and that's what yeah, we tried to say that's what before. We tried to say to begin with, but that we shall prepare unless the township board wants us, us. Yeah. Yeah. wants to exempt us, and that's up to them. I mean, we. So, so in section 11, you're just going to copy and paste the actual. Yeah, I would just copy and paste it. It's the, the actual language. Yeah. From the law. Do we have to withdraw the original motion and make a new motion to include this thing? That the way that works. Amend the motion. Whoever made the motion. I did. Yeah, that's okay. Do you want to amend the motion to include uh, section 11 of the uh, ordinance and uh, what it reflects what's in the, uh, the law? I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we make a motion that we amend the bylaws, section F, to reflect the section 11 of the ordinance 40 which mirrors the law of 2008 so you're making a motion Mike. Yeah. I'll second I'm, it all in favor Aye. 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 Okay. <laughs> is there an issue with that do you think okay I know I've been going back and forth with Bob and he said put shell in there which means we're doing so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page here that we are going to do it unless you guys decide against it that's a good plan okay, okay. We're good, with good. <laughs> thank you let's go Come on. <laughs> yeah okay all right so the next item on the agenda is uh, reviewing the master plan do we want to start with chapter six and we were rushed through because we thought there was a uh, meeting for maps or do we want to go back and start with chapter chapter four which is the natural resource four is probably the easiest quickest one isn't it? yeah that's what i thought do you have a copy i have a copy of four do you have a copy of six too? um can i have an extra i have another i got a partial copy of six 
Yeah, she has, she has it up right there on her computer. So I'm extra if you want. It's oh, sure. Yeah, if you want to press it. Okay. Well, I, right. I think this is already. All right, done. so. I think she fixed everything from what we talked about. So we're going to right. <clears throat> Chapter 4, which we were given a few weeks ago, and uh, we wanted to get through Chapter 6 because that was the goals and objectives, and that was the most important thing. So we had uh, the uh, manager, uh, Doug, from uh, MCOM there to answer our questions a couple weeks ago. So. Uh, to me, Chapter 4 is basically uh, boilerplate stuff that we uh, have in there. It talks about the position we're in for climate, it goes our average temperatures, the, the geology, um, has a picture of the surface geology of uh, Tuscarora Township on the second page. Um, um, you guys see anything that <laughs> you want to? Top and talk about, but I don't see anything. It talks about the top, top, topography. Top, come to me. Topography to the township. Topography. Topography. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, talks about our elevation. It talks about the uh, soils. I think that's uh, yeah. Is that a typo? It's, looks like two L's under soils. It's a lot of L. That's not should be should be soils. See that, Don? It says S S O L L S. It should be S O I L S. So they need to correct. Uh, which, on which page are you on? We're on page uh, four three dash three. <clears throat> under under where it says soils and farmland. So, yeah. I think oh, that's yeah. a, yeah. doesn't that look like two L's? Yeah, it's just a bigger I. Oh, okay. All right, it's probably okay. That's all right. That should be a Okay. It's the soils. Yeah, you're right. So now it's great. That's fine. That's, so do everybody have any issues with 4-3 um, about the soils and farmland? Basically, it's just... Uh, Boilerplate stuff they probably took off of the internet. And it has the map, the topographical map that we have, and you know, as far as the elevations and the uh, rivers and streams and lakes, which to me is a no brainer. And it talks about septic limitations. Uh, a lot of red stuff in there. <clears throat> um, I just had one thing, and, and you guys will know better than, does the Maple River extend all the way to Burt Lake? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the map, on page 4-7, they have the Maple River, like, starting not at Burt Lake. They need to extend the, and I noticed that when I was looking at the map. It's just a small thing, but, um, like, it's starting, like, in the middle of land instead of starting at the lake like they need I to see. extend the river yeah. all the way to Burt Lake okay. if somebody could mention that to them yeah it comes in you know just a little north of uh, of uh, Crooked River they just need to draw the they line. need to draw yeah, the line a little farther to, in there yeah okay. it just looks strange to me and it just stops it just stops out there and Okay, so we'll go back to 4 5, the septic limitations. Mm -hmm. well, that's good evidence for why we need to have maybe a septic resolution. Or yeah. Permits and inspections and that kind of thing. So I'm not sure if this came from uh, the tip of the Met or how they came up with this information. Um, well, they resource. Uh, I think we asked, um, got her card, uh, there was a tip of the tip of the minute, yeah, right. it was at the yeah. BLDA meeting, right. to give us updated information okay. on this because it was, um, it was, was it highlighted? Yeah, because they just did the survey yeah. around so the lake and it's uh, anybody that lives on the lake or, or on the canals or uh, the river, uh, so, uh, it's out there. As soon as they figure out who we're supposed to send this stuff to. 
because I don't know if it, it doesn't go to Denise anymore. I think it goes to Nico. I don't have contact information for him. Okay. I wonder if Denise would give us that information. Yeah, I'm sure she would. Okay. <clears throat> but this is the updated uh, septic information that we got because they took a survey around the lake. Yeah, this is 2009. Yeah, on the bottom. Oh, this is an old one. Then. Yeah, this just says August 2009 on the map that they, maybe they have a new one and they have not. So, Don, do you think? Uh, yeah, I have the card from right. the gal that was at the meeting. Yeah, but I wonder if they sent it to NEMCAG or we should get it with NEMCAG. No, I got to get them the information. Okay, so yeah. you'll. I just need to figure out how okay. to hold a new so. Okay, you'll do that. Okay, so this, this is uh, to be determined, <coughs> updated to the current uh, survey. Because that's out there on the uh, uh, website. It's got, uh, they'll give you a code if you live on the lake or on the river, they'll give you a code so you can look up your, your property. They did that about 10, 12 years ago. The guy went around with a canoe. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And uh, even went up my canal and found that uh, I didn't have uh, a green space all the way across my canal. But uh, they, uh, they do a pretty good job. So it's out there. Uh, and they've sent information out to most people to look at if you live on the lake. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So you're going to follow through with that. Can I make one comment? Sure. Uh, just a compliment to them guys who ever put this together on the old version. The, uh, the average temperature, temperature was listed at 55 degrees for this area, which is pretty high. Did it correct back to the 43, which it should be. Mm -hmm. So they actually did read the information. Oh, they did? Yeah. Okay. So what page are you on now? 401. Oh, back, the first page? Yeah, back <laughs> okay. I, had, I had to get that. Jumping around, huh? Okay. All right, so the next page is water resources, and it talks about the most valuable natural resource in our township is water. Uh, we're located within the Sheboygan River watershed, and they got a map of the, the watershed. I think on this map it shows the Crooked or the Maple River going into the. It does. Yeah. Looks like it's going into the lake over there. Mm, I can't even see the Maple River. No, I don't think it is. There. You got page four six. Neil. Yeah. Well. Four, four. Maple River starts four, six. Right here. That's Maple River. Yeah, they don't have Maple River. Uh, they, they show, no, the they show red. it, but they don't have a label. They don't have a label, but it's there because the Crooked River is in red. Because well, that's the inland waterway. Because this is just showing the inland waterway, so yeah. that's why they But there is, a, there is a, this map does show a river. The inland waterway. It doesn't have the, the Maple River. No, no, no. But oh, he's just the, map, about the map. Oh, the okay. map shows the Crooked River, but it has the Maple River going into oh, her okay. lake in this map. But it doesn't label it. So yeah, one does, one doesn't. It quits. Okay. Talking about this. Uh, yeah. But they're talking about this because they're in the Yeah, that's part of the Maple River. No. Why not? Because you can't go sure, you into can. it. Now it's a boat. There's a game, maybe we're... No. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> no. There's a pontoon, a jet boat. All right, let's... Yeah, maybe boat. a canoe. Let's go. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Well, okay. You take <laughs> your <laughs> band. <bandwagon. laughs> All right. Um, so it just goes through, you know, the Sturgeon River begins and that's... Seago County flows north of Burt Lake and it talks about Burt Lake and Indian River connection. That's uh, all just information on the Inland Waterway. Groundwater, um, important factors of ele elevation of the groundwater are the quality, quantity and quality of the water. Um, township provides residents with sufficient water quantities. Water availability will not likely be a factor in limiting growth. Um, and I think I'm sure they pulled that off of some uh, It goes back to the wells and septic system, Chapter 3. It talks about Burr Lake, uh, covers 25% of the township.
talk about mullet. Is a mullet part of our is a mullet part of our township? Part of it. Grandview yeah. Beach area? Yeah. Is it I don't see it in there. If you go to page four thirteen. References more. Right? Mm -hmm. It talks about the fisheries and yeah. the, and um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but doesn't but doesn't ask, maybe it doesn't touch them all. But I think yeah. people live on Grandview Beach or in our yeah it touches because I know back in a few years ago they had the issue on Grandview Beach and that was part of our township. Okay. <clears throat> I like the fact that it says Burr Lake Preservation Association is an active organization of interested citizens and property owners with the mission to preserve and improve the quality of Burr Lake and its waterships for future generations. Okay, so they're giving us a plug, Jane. <laughs> so does anybody have any issues or any changes they want to send back to them on that page? This is the page where I also contacted them um, to see if they have updated information. 4-8, where it's in yellow. Right, but actually, if you look at the current survey that I put up on our website, they're using these exact same graphs, the same dates. Oh, they are? For these, yeah. So I wonder if they should say through 2022. They didn't change them on their on their survey. Well, I think. Yeah, we're just not. Yeah, it says we're not been able to locate this data. Does the LPA have updated data? So the answer is yeah. Yeah, we they were just out there. Yeah. So well, basically, it's not us. It's through not Burr Lake, it's but through, it's through it's the tip through of the tip mitt. Of the mitt right? Yeah, yeah. So. I think if we just send them the link to their survey, yeah, and they can pull what, whatever information they want from. Can that. we do that? Hmm? Can we do that? Can we send? You're talking about the yeah. survey. Yeah. Okay. The, um, I have the link. Okay. And the thing is, if you if you go to their website directly and it has surveys. The only one that it shows on the service for Burt Lake is the old one. Yeah. And when you click on it, it comes up with the old one. But the link that they provided at the BOPA meeting, yeah. that takes you right to the new survey. So they've got an issue on the website. So they need to update this page to the new survey. If it's yeah. if there's any changes or at least the dates. Right. They, they should look N at N it. NMCON can look at the survey right. and decide what, okay. what they need to pull from it. Okay. So really, we could have it up through 2022 for all right. this phosphorus. That's when I took the survey last year. They went around the whole lake, lot by lot, yeah. and did a it, but this, and looked at all the cadaver that's being survey. drained in the yeah. lake from septic tanks. So we want to get our graph where it's as the most common right. before He's we turn it Yes. Yeah. So okay. we're going to send that back to them. That sounds good. Okay. So also, the next page is it's got the same information needs to be updated. So the next part is wetlands and woodlands. And I'm not sure when this has been updated. <coughs> the maps say 2010. Yeah, that's in the last that's in the last master plan we did. Yeah. Did they just took that information and Use the same map. So I don't know if they got well, enough. That and um, the other thing is, it's on the forest types and the um, the green space cover. Um, if we're going to clear cut at the airport, I think I read on the um, the quote like 50, 50 to sixty acres. That needs to be updated because that's included in here. So what, this is from 2010, though. Yeah, I know, so it's not, you can't use that data. No, you can't use it. I would think they would have would that data. Have for the, for but the forestry, yeah. anyway. You, not not for the for the wetlands and the watershed map, I feel no. like that's okay, but the forestry well, what would, would you change need it to, to be looked at. If they clear cut well, it, that's they still. Color, they color code it, so. Yeah, um, but it's still. It would be. The, uh, you know, woodlands. 
whether they clear cut or not, there's still going to be growth coming back up in there. That's the whole point of yeah, having there's northern forest. Yeah, they list the trees that are in there, so it'll probably, it would probably turn into aspen as the new growth came in. Mm -hmm. usually what I think. So right so now it's showing hardwoods. Yeah. It's showing um, lowland copper. Mike, can I interject? Sure, go ahead. I, I just left the meeting with Greg, the forester at the airport at 5. The plan is the current contract that's signed says leaving any oak that are 12 inches or smaller, leaving any other tree that's five inches or smaller. So clear cut, clear cuts at one end of the spectrum, <coughs> selective cut, meaning right. take this tree and that tree okay. and that tree, that's at the other end of the spectrum, we're kind of in the middle. So it's really not gonna be a clear cut because there are gonna be a lot of trees left, but I mean, there's a lot of tubber, a lot of lumber coming down too, without a doubt. But you still call it slight coverage. But, yeah. Well, it's kind of in between, you, like I said. It's not, it. But it's not so absolutely not going to be a clear cut. But, but would we change the map? To so they would they would change the map then if they're leaving mostly hardwoods. But you wouldn't know until they're done. He just said oaks. He said they're leaving oaks. Oaks, oaks 12 inches or smaller. And, and everything else 5 inches or smaller. smaller. So that's still a lot of trees. But they're not going to look just what well, that so bad. It, it says, no. yeah, so the area is showing, it's right here, it's yeah. showing some, um, um, some of that. Basically, some what they want to do is clear some of that canopy, canopy out so we can get some new growth in there right. because the undergrowth is dying out and we're not getting new trees because it's too heavy of a canopy. So we're going to sell some of that timber to make sure that we can clear some of that canopy out. It's still going to be zone forestry. I. I agree. I don't think Would we want to nitpick and start picking apart, saying so many? I, I think, think we should just leave it. Yeah. I think not if they're going to. No, I would leave it the way it is. Doing it's still forest rate. Right? And if uh, they were doing what they did behind my Boulevard, I'd have a different opinion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the update there. So we can leave that alone. Everything else, I think, uh, probably hasn't changed. Just like along 68 there, you know, they're only picking and choosing some Select, of those selected, trees. Clear Select that, yeah, so, so I don't, that's still a, not enough to change fine. all this stuff. Okay. Okay, let's, the next page is uh, fish and wildlife resources. Um, it talks about our fish, Lake Huron fisheries, it talks about the, Fishery Management Division, DNR, MDNR. Uh, it just talks about, you know, who, uh, you know, talks about when it was started back in 19, 2019, Lake Huron Fish. It's like a history, I guess. I don't know if we need to want to get involved with that or not. I wonder if anything's different, though. It talks about Burr Lake has historically been managed under the MDNR Large Lake Program from 2000 until 2000. Okay. It is updated to 2019. Uh, when did the DNR change their name? DEQ. DNR has still been the DNR. I mean, they're the ones over the land and everything, but the DEQ is the, uh, <coughs> the environment. Did they combine them one time and then they went back? Way back, back when. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Every, but this this is uh, years they change it. Huh? This talks about the MDNR, you know, as far as the, the lake and fisheries. They're the ones in charge of the fish. Mm -hmm. It talks about white fish for stock early in eighteen seventy six, blah blah blah. Yellow perch. Mm -hmm. Where are the big fish? I don't see the big fish. That's showing that. It is. It's walleye. Oh. They say walleye is the most abundant predator, but a lot of people didn't catch many walleyes last year. Five per acre. So, but again, it's just this whole thing is more uh, information type stuff that it really isn't uh, going to change anything we want to do in the future or our goals. Yep. Yeah. Good information on that end of that page about the invasive species. So you get through Burt Lake and Mullet Lake. <clears throat> and, Mullet Lake. and then there's a chapter oh, on invasive species and it 
talks about a lot of different vegetation and animals that are invasive in our area. Yeah, it talks about eagle. That's what the Department of Environment is eagle now, not DEQ. They used to call it DEQ, but it's called eagle. So, okay. All right. Then it gives you the invasive species list. Those uh, through birds, uh, crustaceans, diseases, each leaf. And the threats. I wonder why they don't have anything in there about um, and the diseases, why they don't have maybe it's under, oh, no, never mind, it's under um, insects, the emerald ash borer. So, anything else on that page? Facial species list, and then they got a list of the next page. Sheboygan County threatened and endangered species. I don't know what a dusted skipper is. Bird. I assume it is. Like the crater. <laughs> I'm assuming they did their homework on this stuff, so there's quite a few pages of this. That's what we paid them to do. That's right, so, okay. So now we're down to uh, <clears throat> 417. Scenic features talks about the dynamic year round views of Burt Lake from along the shorelines, another important asset to Tuscarora Township development, which occurs during Burt Lake shoreline area, visible by very prop many property owners and boaters mm -hmm. on the lake. Uh, given consideration, impact the development of water quality, impact the development of visual quality should be considered. And it goes through all the panoramic views and company's features. Talks about the Natural Resources Environment Protection Act of 1994. One thing that I'm not, I was looking at this today, uh, Table 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. It talks about uh, Tuscarora Township contamination sites. Yeah. And that surprises me, but I don't know what, who uh, put that together. Was it the health department or? Well, the bottom of that table says environment, Great Lakes, and energy. So I would say that it's. Eagle. Yeah, Eagle. Yeah. Department, of, Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy. Yeah, because they got the uh, remediation and redevelopment division is that would be the one where that <coughs> information is coming from. But what from is the state of Michigan? But what is that? It says contamination sites. Is that something they're cleaning up? Do they cite these people? Mm, well, they they've identified those sites, and that's what those site ID numbers are. You could look those up okay. online, and then you would be able to find uh, what the specific problems are at each one of those locations. What, it shows Burger King on Club Road, and then it just has 3471 Club Road. What is that? It says that's a contamination site. Is that your house, Scott? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it your old, and this is Um, really? I wondered, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was, I think, one, and I'm not sure if that was a gas station type thing or if it was, uh, for some reason, it might have been some kind of a train or a lumber thing, too, like a creosote type thing. But so I remember when the Burger King was going in there, they had, they had issues because I know the guy that owned it and <laughs> back then. You're right, it's been a long time. And that's what it's related to. So I wonder if these have been updated or what. I mean, <clears throat> they got Jack's Auto Repair on here, too. That hasn't been in forever. But well, the land is still contaminated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, once so. they identify it as yeah. a contaminated site, well, it, never, it, it will never right. not be a contaminated site. Right. Even got if the, the, the remediation was done, it's still going to identify it 
Okay, so there's no so really on some of them, there's <coughs> other risks are present and they're immediate. But the that might be there. Term, risks not determined. So and then um, the last one, Jack Jack Auto Repair. That one says risk controlled interim. There might be oil and stuff. So that it, it was Jack's Auto Repair the one that is right across the street from me? Yes. Yeah. Because they had they had a monitoring well system through there. They ran, they they were pumping and cleaning mm -hmm. continuously okay. out of a trailer that was sitting there mm -hmm. for quite a few years. And they actually they got it to where they wanted it. They've removed the the trailer and they've capped the well that they were using. Um, and that's all they've they finished the remediation process. I just wonder if that's that. a question we should give back to them to say is this something that uh, it needs to be you know are they been resolved or is this something that stays there forever? Well it sounds like I mean, based on what I'm reading it sounds like like the Jack Auto Repair it says risk risks controlled dash interim so it sounds to me done. that it's, it's con under <coughs> it's under control. But didn't you say it goes on forever? Once it gets well, pretty much, I mean, there's there's monitoring wells in in my yard that are to monitor what goes on across the street. Um, they can come in and test it however often they want to, and I'm sure on their property there's monitoring wells, and they're out out in the middle of the road there too, where the road construction. Is I mean, done. I've been here for yeah. 20 years full time and 30 years. At Vincent Services, isn't that where the glow is? Yes. <laughs> there used to be a gas station. Mm -hmm. 40 yeah. years ago or something yeah. so i'm assuming that they that they don't ever update the yeah the i mean name. vincent services well when when, when the they used to work there Did you? <laughs> don't make it sound oh, that yes. long ago. so maybe that's <laughs> a, self serve maybe when, that's a nemcog question well when does the, is this table something that we want to make does sure that there's be, more updates yeah do we need to update update there? because when vincent's in turned into the glow we had test wells drilled there because we had kids involved and wanted to make sure when we bought it that's right, you that were in there. That it wasn't contaminated or had any chance of connecting. I guess the question should be, should should this be updated or does it stay forever, I guess, with the mm -hmm. NEMCAG? Because it doesn't give a date on here of when this was updated no. or even no. regulated. So that would that would be my question. Because they got a place on Birchfield Road. Where's Birchfield Road? It's in town here. Uh, the, I think that's the corner where the um, pharmacy. That, that transmission place, I think. Oh, we down south. Okay. So it could have been at one time they had an issue and it's un un ongoing modern, I guess. But we need to, yeah, we need to clarify that. Yeah, that's, we don't need to stay on that. Okay. Okay, the last page. There are NEPDES permits. National Pollution Discharge Elimination Systems Permit. Control direct discharge into the surface waters of the state of opposing fluent limits of. This is updated. April of 2023. They're not active. Can we go back? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, before we go off the last subject, on the top of page 418, it says river trading post, but there's no IDs or what they're talking about. Should that be in there or not be in there? That's from the previous page, number six. It just got cut off and, okay. and moved. Okay. So where it says Alpena yep. Oil, yep. Indiana, River. Okay. Yeah. The trading post is part of that. Well, I used to be, yeah. that was a gas station too. And then Burley <coughs> Arena, that's where they have gas too. So mm -hmm. they made, most of those apparently had oil and gas in them. So. Right. Okay. okay, so surface water and air. Discharge permits, it just says that the program regulates pollutants <coughs> discharged directly in the waterways from wastewater sources. April 2023, there was nine active <coughs> NPDES permits issued in Tuscarora Township. Okay, air discharge permits. State of Michigan for air discharge. Discharges maximum achievable control technology determines 
issue new source review to asset rain permits for <coughs> Clean Air Act. Again, we had no permits issued. And this township as of April for air quality. What's the name? Up here? Yeah, up here. We yeah, we have nine on the uh, water. Yeah. yeah, they got permits. To, yeah, that's what it says. So. so they're discharging into the water. Yeah, but they got permits to do that. Yeah. So they're legal, apparently, according to the National Pollution Discharge Elimination <coughs> System permit. So. Okay. Anything else on Chapter 4? We need to go back. And I think we got a couple um, notes that we have to go back and get updated from the uh, uh, Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Are we ready to go on and kind of go back and look at uh, Chapter 6 again. I know towards the end we kind of rushed through it. So do we want to start from the beginning or do you have questions uh, from the beginning or just go through the last few pages? I know we were trying to get uh, some comments on citizens' comments. So we rushed through and I know... Uh, I have one comment on page 6-1. It's one of those Mickey Mouse changes that I always come up with. But, uh, <laughs> But on, you, John. but on the general appearance of the township, we should say 70% are satisfied, rather than 70 are satisfied. Go, go downward and finally get to 50 Oh, this was a survey? Yeah. 70%? Yeah. The way it reads, only 70 people were satisfied. So I add percent after seven. Where does it add? First? 56, go to the 56% line. Page six one. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I must have. Fifty six percent are satisfied. Oh, 70. Yeah, that says seventy. Seventy are satisfied. He says seventy percent. Seventy percent are satisfied. Yeah. Okay, that's that sounds more. Okay. Otherwise, we'll need to update that. that when we send it back. We we haven't sent chapter six back to them, have we? No. Okay. So that's the only change on that that uh, seventy percent of the people that took the survey. Are satisfied with the general appearance of the township, so I think that's fifty-six with the township. Seventy percent. Seventy percent are happy with their neighborhood. Oh, the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fifty-six percent. Okay, fifty-six. Okay, just change the seventy to seventy percent on the neighborhood. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So my interpreter. Okay. All right. All right. So, DOD background. So, do we need to to go back to where the where from the beginning? Stop? Huh? Where did we stop? Where well, we there was the last couple of sections. I know uh, just uh, just Bob was in there too, helping us trying to decide who does stuff, especially with the. Uh, um, No longer the terrorist bureau or the uh, chamber was going to be involved, so we put in the DDA. We wanted to make sure that's still a, a viable thing on some of these things that we have. Yeah, the master list. Do you have some? I know the first, you know, pages we went through, I thought pretty thoroughly, but if you got some things done that you think we need to go back and revisit. Like Design Indian River as a walk-friendly community. <clears throat> we put Future, and we got Parks DDA, and uh, Township Board. I think that's what we put on there. <clears throat> If anything that includes the township board, Mr. Kramer was here to go through with this. So. <clears throat> you 
guys see anything? I guess, <clears throat> I don't know where they Well, we went through the whole thing, but the yeah, last two pages we can't. Last, last two pages, I think, is what I think we need to look at. Okay. So the natural mm -hmm. resources or the recreation? The recreation? Which page are you on? As we put uh, the Parks Commission, um, DNR, and uh, look at economic feasibility options to continue agriculture and forestry use of land. It's nothing that we do here other than maybe the Parks Commission get involved. Uh, do we need to look at that again? I think we pretty much, it's a county Parks Commission. Uh, and the thing about solar facilities, we took that out. Which one? Four? Yeah, there was one she had in there. We took out number four on page um, 6 15. Oh Don. Oh, I don't know. I put, I had county uh, planning and zoning. Well, I did too. I had. It's ongoing and we leave it with county planning and zoning. I mean, most of those. Well, yeah, they would be the There's county one. commissioners, too. Yeah, so number one, we had uh, planning commission two, three, four, five, we had county. Right. And then six, we had the uh, DNR. DNR. And seven, we had um, pl uh, planning commission and county. Yeah, county planning commission. Yeah. So you're saying, do we want to? Take it out. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't I, take it out. Uh, I think I'd leave it in there and just leave it with county. We're not. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I would just it leave it as county. Mm -hmm. They do all the zoning. Work with the county and provide greater zoning flexibility regarding use of large parcel of lands, and that's that's the county. Mm -hmm. And we're just an advisory board to them if needed. Recreation. I had some blanks on mine, but I don't know if we filled all those in or not. Uh, so one, two, three, four. We had Planning Commission five. board, right? No, I had Parks. Parks Commission, okay. Yep, I had Parks for one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, that would be five. Parks. Did we answer the question on number two? Did this occur? But, oh, that's a parks well, commission. A, yeah, no, we just said I'm going. Marina Park as designated trailhead. That's done. It's saying the establishment of Marina Park as a designated there. trailhead. That's where the that's trailhead the is. Yeah. That okay, so, so we done. want to just put done in there then. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was one we pushed through, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number four, we got uh, parks commission to expand township parks and facilities. That's ongoing. Uh, I don't know, work cooperatively, we just left that blank, number five, work cooperatively with neighboring townships, county and other stakeholders, establishing connecting bike trails, routes such as in between the North Central State Trail and North. I have, I have parks. Then. Parks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Um, okay, the next one, promote winter tourism in the area, including snowmobiling, X count X country yeah. skiing and snowshoeing and ice really. fishing. And we had I had TVD. Yeah, so we, we don't, don't know. Really yeah, that's what we did with the rest of them too. That, we don't know who they are. Did you get that letter from the? Yeah, I think that's um, 
It probably is like the, the tourist and the ED, um, chamber. Yeah, the chamber is not there. Well, right now, yeah. it's kind of, everything's up in the air between them, and so that's why we put D yeah. TVD okay. and yeah. talked about maybe the DDA, but uh, at this point. But it's not really no, it's not a township responsibility. No, no, mm -hmm. no, it's not a township. It's just like uh, a TVD. And yeah, for her. We don't know. Just take it on. Leave it in, but leave, leave a TBD. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what we did before. Yeah. So then the last one on there, seek grant assistance for trail and park improvement projects. That's the park commission on the board. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. We had TBD on the, OR, um, on the ORV trail and snowmobile right. trails. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we also, on hunting and fishing, hunting and fishing opportunities in the area. Because I know that one time was the Tourist Bureau did that, because mm -hmm. L. Yeah. Thompson used to run those things back. He traveled all over the state. We have our yeah. own snowmobile club here in the, in the township, right? Yeah. Don't they, wouldn't they help us promote the accessibility of the snowmobile trail? They, they make the snowmobile trail map and hand it over. Yeah. So, snowmobile club. I don't know the name of their, their snowmobile club. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that um, what, for some reason I was thinking Indian River, um, you know, Burt Lake Marina maybe was involved in that somewhat. I don't yeah, know. I, I know they have a. You, for ten bucks, you can go to their parties and drink. But that's all I know. There about. You go. <laughs> they do have a snowmobile club, so. <laughs> Leave it TBD. TBD right. is what. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know if they're doing any promoting. Or I know a lot of guys that didn't have snowmobiles that joined. <laughs> so, that's just a side thing. Okay. All right. So the last page. <clears throat> Continue to pursue implementation of municipal sewer system to protect water quality, groundwater, surface water area. And we've got uh, township board and planning commission. Is that something the planning commission? I guess we would. I don't know. Is that something we would do? I know when we went through that with Bob. So since we don't have any zoning effect or changes, no. There, so I just leave a township board because yeah. they're working on this. We don't really get into that. No. I know Janet's deep into it right now. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave that township board. Um, So work with Sheboygan County to encourage a land use pattern that is oriented <coughs> to the natural features of water resources of the area by evaluating type of density of proposed development based on soil, suitability, slope of land, potential groundwater and surface, water degradation. Uh, I don't know. That's really mostly. Then how would we had um, planning commission and county to see because I think that gets into um, that gets into their zoning. Okay, well, so we just leave it county then. Then. Well, it would be uh, us and us to uh, and, uh, pursue it to them. Okay. If there needs to be. Um, yeah, we would be the impetus to uh, have <coughs> them look into it. Yeah. Okay, so township planning commission and county planning commission. Through public, through zoning and public education, encourage the maintenance of natural vegetation adjacent to lakes, streams, and wetlands. BLPA for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Who's I had CZ? I don't know. Yeah. Huh? I put CZ on. I must county zoning. Oh, county oh. zoning. Okay. I just have to count. I would, we were in a hurry because Beth that was over there pushing us. Because of this uh, zoning and public education, so I put the county. Yeah, I would say BLPA and maps. I <coughs> see if maps would have showed up that night, we could have asked them a question. Right. BLPA would be the education, the zoning is the county. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we put BLPA slash county planning commission. Okay. That's this one. Okay, we're getting down here. We're almost done. Support, support the strengthening of groundwater protection, stormwater management regulations by county zoning ordinance, which again, that's county zoning, 
uh, wetlands and groundwater recharge, stormwater filtering, and stormwater holding areas, and that's county zoning. Uh, number five, promote regulations for development of steeply sloped areas and require erosion control measures that construction is permitted. Required slope stabilization and revegetation and distributed slopes or extraction areas. Again, that's county zoning. They would have to look at the permits. I almost think that falls the soil and erosion guys? Yeah. Well, that would be the uh, Eagle then. Yeah. I think All right, Eagle. Both of those. Well, it's county zoning and Eagle because they work. We had some issues on our canal. We had both the county zoning <coughs> and Eagle involved. Okay. Probably um, county too. So yeah, I got county zoning and Eagle. And Eagle. Yeah, because they work together. In fact, Eagle. Took Mike Terrace's uh, suggestion on what the guy needed to do in our canal. So, okay, encourage planting of native trees and shrub species when properties are developed. Again, is that the DNR? Mm, BLPA for sure. DNR, but Why would BLPA? We don't get involved with that. We are shoreline with this. But it doesn't say shoreline. <coughs> True. Same with the next one, encourage retention of management existing forest lands. Uh, the DNR, their uh, management group that does the trees are... Also county zoning, I suppose. I don't know. I don't think county zoning is well, involved with well, the management it's a, it's a, of the forest. They want to rezone they, for some... They kind of do. I mean, they kind of do. Like, we were required when we built our um, <coughs> to have either put a fence or natural... Um, like they said we could put pine trees in a line in between the properties. Okay, so we want to put DNR slash county zoning. Yeah. Okay, both of those on six and seven. Okay, um, number eight, this was in red. Pursue grant funding to assist in protecting natural areas. Uh, we put tip of the mitt. Oh, Because yeah. they're the ones that pretty uh, are driving the uh, the lake, uh, you know, the water, the 40 feet. Uh, um, God, I can't think of the name of that, what we call that. Uh, uh, Set back. Green, green belt, the 40 feet green belt, protecting the natural areas. And they, tip of the mitt is the one that gets involved with that, with the, the state and with the funding. So we put tip on that, I remember, and we put tip on the last one. Encourage the use of conservation techniques, landscaping, conservation easement, and resource education programs protect okay. water quality from developing impacts. So he didn't, I mean, we didn't really talk too much to him about this, and, uh, you know, some of it, like, this looks like it's something that probably LTC would be involved in, not, not necessarily, you know, local government or no no that's what i said this is something the tip of the mitt well, they do all the education they do the they have the programs in fact they've got one going the now they're having a meeting to, on that one would be conservancy i would think the ltc the little travis, little travis conservancy no they buy property yeah but they also do conservation stuff i mean they do educational it. Things. Well, to me, the tip is more educational than mm -hmm. the other ones BLPA works with. It's was the tip. We were, we've got a couple of our members on their board, and that with the Little Traverse, that's they're more involved with buying properties and conserving properties, I yeah, guess. Well, that's so, what this says. Well, if you want to put tip in, you know, both Little them. Traverse, that's fine. That's not I a mean, big. It's, it's the something we don't do. <laughs> Let's them have it. We'll pass it off. Okay. All right. So are we done looking at all those? And we made there any corrections that we had? And once they make changes or answer our questions, then we get another draft thing back to look at. Yes, uh, we're going to have to hear. Yeah. Before I yeah before I leave this. There's a couple of things we need to get back from them. I'm kind of disappointed uh, with 
their um, involvement or response right now because I was looking at our last master plan and I talked to Jane earlier and I talked to Don about some of the things that we need to look at but a lot of it is um, tied up with the goals and objectives in chapter six so we do need to look at chapter five hopefully we'll get that back so we're going to have to have another meeting to look at chapter five and hopefully they'll have the update the chapters four and six to us so we can review it all and then hopefully we can go on with the, the final draft after that well i'm just you seem to be the one that has to, you know i couldn't find that, that email that i got maybe mike ridley sent it to us about the four times they're coming here I looked through all my emails about oh, what they were going to do contract. for us. It's in the contract. I got a copy of the contract, but it doesn't mm -hmm. say, the, you know, the four dates that they were going to come. I think they just said four meetings. They four. didn't say which dates. Yeah. yeah, they said four meetings, but each meeting they were going to tell us what, what they were going to review. And I know the last, they've already had three, and the last one is to go through the final master plan, and I think we're a ways away from that. So, oh. they well, we're going to have to. Uh, Dawn sent Denise a, an email yesterday, and she turned it over to a guy to get. So we need to okay. get yeah. back into it. I'll I'll get a hold of uh, the director, Doug, okay. find out where they're at with this stuff. That would be the next logical step for us. Though. Yeah. Be five. Yeah, we when go. We get five. We'll set a meeting time, and then. Go yeah, then we'll go. We hopefully, they'll have six and four updated, so we can review that, and then. When they come again is when we go through the final process, is what I remember on the uh, the contract or the well, four dates. If we can have more meetings, we just pay up to the pay. Yeah, we pay for, for more if we need to. Their get, time and travel. Okay. So, yeah, if when we get the next items, we go through that and we feel that we need another sit down with them before they bring us the final package, then we'll make that decision at our next meeting. But it's all going to be predicated on when they get us the information back so maybe a month or so we'll set another meeting is there a determination of how many chapters total we have so we know where we're at yeah, there is. How much is, is there a table of contents because we had eight last night well Sorry. you were the one i was going to you're Hold my resource from the last so, you've been through two or three of these okay, no, no, no. okay so no. yeah it's on the con it's actually on the contract so chapter one is the introduction two is socioeconomic uh, characteristics Three is community facilities. Four is natural resources. Five is existing land use and land cover. Um, six is goals and objectives. Uh, seven is future land use. Eight is implementation and adoption. So we need to get five and seven. We yet yeah, right now we're five, seven, and eight. That's probably yeah, we what's just taken them so long is because those are the ones that they really have to do. Yeah. That, so okay. she said up front that they don't do them in order in order. Okay. Well, that's easy. okay. Maybe I didn't read that follow through. Mm -hmm. So we'll. Uh, I guess we'll wait and see what we get, and then we'll have another meeting, and we'll determine whether we want to go so another meeting with five, them seven, before. And eight. Yeah. <clears throat> Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. What about funding? Do we have a adequate funding to even go and spend more money um, in the budget? We have money, know. yeah, because we'll be in next year's budget, I think. I would hope we got a little bit in there. For, okay. yeah. I know they just billed $5,000 uh, uh, this really year, that? but uh, they had them, you guys had them send the money <clears throat> in early. If it, you know, if we had the 16800 budgeted for this year, and when we talked to them, they said, uh, MCOG said they wouldn't have it ready for us till bill us till the next budget year. Well, then I think Bob talked to him and they gave us, he sent me a copy of the bill that I approved for $5,000 that they sent in this year. So uh, so we own like $11,000 next year and I think we put the whole 16 in there. So we'd have to review that with you guys and see where we're at with uh, another meeting with them. But I think we can uh, put one in. What are they? What was the charge for meeting? I remember what it said on there. Most of the money was. Put, it's uh, four hundred and twenty-five per meeting. Yeah, so four hundred and twenty-five bucks. Hopefully, we can round that up Plus from. Travel, I think. I think that includes the travel. 
Yeah. It may have just look general. Well, when we get through the next three chapters, we'll take a we'll take a look and see where we're at. If we need another meeting with them, and we'll talk to the board and see if we got the extra 420, whatever it is, that we can spend to go ahead and do that. So, okay. So, are we okay with uh, chapter four and six now? Yep. Okay. Do we have to approve anything? Probably nothing tonight until they get No, not until we get them back. We just updated, though. So, all right, we're going to go see so, yeah. <laughs> it. Okay. All right. We're at public comments that we didn't put on the. So, is there any public comments? And I'll who's. I'll be quick. This go time. ahead, Joe. Okay. We have all night tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maps yeah. didn't show up tonight again. <laughs> We had to kick the library board out of here, though. They had it. It was double booked, I guess. Oh, okay. They have it every every Tuesday night. So it was somehow that's got to get corrected on the calendar because they had it at the same time we did. So yeah, we're trying to get that. There okay. Three different calendars. That I understand. We're working under, and we're trying to consolidate. I understand. So it's yeah. But they were, you know, they were gracious enough when they were done early, so we didn't have to fight them you out of here. <laughs> Okay. But because you don't have your other chapters yet, you can work on what I'm about to oh, ask. <laughs> I know what you're going to ask. Go ahead. Okay. So I want to know how many short-term rentals do we need? As of yesterday, in Indian River, we have 165 Airbnbs, 765 Burbos, 126 homeaways, 82 cabins. It's cabin time. Cabins. So imagine buying your first home in a coastal community or even your dream home on the lake and you're creating that peaceful backyard oasis. But when warm weather rolls around, you soon discover a revolving door at the house next door, loud music, loud drinking, late night bonfires, <coughs> extra people, overflowing garbage, boats, trailers, cars, RVs taking over the yard and street, and lights. Let's talk about spotlights on all night long. There's no dark sky compliant, no stargazing for me. So I really think we need in this town um, some to establish now some rules and regulations for these short-term rentals at the local level and address the issue of these rentals depleting the housing here for people to live and work here. There really are no long-term rentals here in Indian River. I know for a fact somebody's looking and there just isn't any. Um, I wish you could limit the number of SDRs in one area and pause any new ones like other communities are doing at this time. The need is now to do this, not later. All I'm really asking for is like other communities, other Michigan towns have rules and regulations to rent, regulate these, like in Harbor Springs and Charlevoix and Wolverine has had rules for years now. So the master plan data results showed 60% of Indian River residents want some rules and ways to regulate these SDRs. So I'm asking you to please move forward now and establish an ordinance in our community. Okay. I was quick. Yeah, it was quick. <laughs> Pat? My name is Patrick McGinnis, and I've attended many of the township meetings. I've also listened as Bob Kramer, Jay Reisman, and Janet Vance has talked about how great of a job they are doing. <clears throat> I have watched as these three bragged about cutting budgets, redirecting funding, and how every dollar that they can trim from all of the township departments is a dollar that can be used on capital improvement projects. <clears throat> but from where I stand, it looks like the money they have cut from the budgets has been spent not on capital improvement projects, but on hiring new staff, staff which was not needed in the past. Is this because these board members don't know how to do the job they were elected to do and have to hire people who know what they're doing? What is it now? Five new employees. <coughs> Isn't this money that could be used to help fund the many capital improvement projects? I also understand that Jay Reisma is not in the office this week. Combine this with the week he took off to go skiing, taking the township credit card with him, it must be nice to be able to take so much time away from the office. I also stand, understand that Bob Kramer is out of the office this week. It must be nice. 
Why are we expected to believe that they are doing such a great job when they are never here? Thank you. Okay. Any other comments? Beth? I just want to support uh, Joe with what she just said. Okay. I know you, you want to do something, but she's correct. Now is the time to do it. Let's not wait too long before it's out of control and <coughs> you can't do nothing. And then you make the plan. <laughs> You, I don't want to make anybody mad. No, but I, I do think you guys need, and I know you've been working very, very hard on this 10-year planning. You're doing a fabulous job. Uh, yeah, when it comes to board comment, i got a couple of things to say when we get to the board comments. But again, um, yeah, we need to stop is there any other um, public comments? Yes, sir. Hi, uh, my name's Joe Grundy. I know I spoke to you last yep. week about my project on River Street with the condominiums. Um, but I just still wanted to come anyways because I was in town. I never hardly ever get to come to any of these meetings. So. Oh, welcome. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. what can I say? Um, on June 7th, the county, you know, Sporting County Zoning, did partially approve my project uh, with the exception of they want me to find three more dedicated spots, uh, parking spots. So uh, looking at all the alternatives right now, the best path of least resistance possibly is going to be to try a road abandonment of some of the right of way on River Street on the north side of the road. Uh, there's only 10 parcels on that street of business district, business district or whatever. Um, on my side, there's four. Uh, all four are in agreement uh, to try to do this. Uh, what it would allow is 17 more feet on our property that we would gain back, assuming the township waives their rights uh, and gives it back to the property owner to be re platted, re surveyed. Uh, and then, like in my case, I would gain all my parking I need on my actual property. Um, Roger, probably not going to open back up, but he's fine gaining whatever space he's going to gain. Same with the restaurant group. Uh, Larry and Patty probably just plant grass. Um, so really, you know, time is always money when you're trying to build things and do things. Um, in order for me to try to do this, in order to keep moving this whole summer and not lose all another summer, uh, I need to get on their, uh, the board next week. Hopefully I can turn everything on Friday because it's really seven signatures from anybody in the township anybody that of us that part of the right away that we want to ban it has to agree to it we have their signatures uh take it to the township they do a resolution vote on it if they say yes then then it goes to the road commission without a public hearing uh and they vote on it they still say no they say yes then i have a project and then the pro you know, the property owners then will take back you know, that, that they will have that front edge to improve themselves. I wanted to do it for the whole street, uh, but, you know, on the other side, maybe a couple, maybe, not sure what they want to do. Obviously, I don't want to, I'm not trying to have anybody have more land to increase their taxes, obviously. Uh, you still need par public parking, so you can still have public parking on that side. <coughs> Essentially, on the north side, there would not be public parking, you know, with those, in front of those residences for myself and Larry, Roger, you know, restaurant could either put their patio out front too if they want, or they just have, you know, actual dedicated parking on their, on their property. So I just want to let you know, obviously, that the DD, uh, A, uh, no, last night, just answer any questions you might have, concerns, small town, everybody at the office <coughs> there. So when you say a resolution by the township board, mm -hmm. is that to uh, change the you know the, the right of way to make it like 66 feet instead of 120? Well, or, that's a, a road commission approval. Right. You don't need the planning commission, or I don't need you. No, I don't need your approval. No, not not. I'm talking about the county because we're, we're not. Yeah, we're not part of this. Unfortunately, we need, can't. I need I need the township to do a resolution as part of the the okay. process. The road commission will still have the final set. So how long do you think this will take once you get the resolution? Well, if I can get the signature, I have the signatures. If I present it Friday, 
I can get it on June 29th. <coughs> uh, and then I start the procedure with my okay. lawyer and the road commission. Yeah, because that's to me was the best way when we talk. Yeah. Just get yeah, resolution through the road commission. I'd love to see both sides done and then tie it all in with. You know, like we do money. You we want that do. you want that street to look like downtown. If it's your true business if it is a business district type residential mixed use, it'd be nice to see an L shape of just you know, you have your downtown and then that is the street that should right. kinda of look like downtown too. So we just finished um, granting a waiver. I mean um, the in between was granted a waiver for because they didn't that they didn't need parking because they have on street right. parking. Mm -hmm. That's going to go away. It is. Well, if he if has them abandoned, 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 yeah, it goes abandoned. away, and that's an issue. We're giving up our because we did in the village center and the village center overlay we have parking certain parking restrictions. Right. We did that so that we have public parking. So you're taking away public parking. If you abandon uh, the right of ways, that's the public parking that goes away. So we just finished granting a waiver to uh, the in between because they have on street parking. I think if we go back and look at their plans, they right, have yeah. 11 or 12. Yeah, plus houses. they have yeah. for their people that. Uh, the, but he's, the he doesn't have a restaurant, though, as far as. No, but for the fix for the restaurant, they needed an X amount of parking right. spaces. We Which they had in the front. They had all down the front. They had 12, but it was all the way down the street. Those are That's on-street parking, public, public parking. Right. And then across the street as well, um, on Berkshire Hathaway's property, that's also on-street That's street all public. public. It's a whole right-of-way. So, so what he's saying, right just the north side, is what he's asking for the up abandonment yeah. so you the just north. took away all the public parking that was on the north side of the road let him answer what what were you going to say uh on the in between by by code on their restaurant parking they needed zero spaces actually the, they only needed one for the condos hence why they bought across the street right. for their private spot but the zero that they needed was because they had on public street, parking public in front. parking in front out front all down that road so if you have the road abandonment and you take away all the public parking okay. that so, is um, going to make them have to comply where they they comply now but the don's correct then they wouldn't be in compliance if you change to yeah, the abandonment, true. and then they don't have any more public parking, then they're going to have to, in in their spot, in front, however many spots that oh. they needed, they'll yeah. they'll have to provide that on their oh, own sorry. property. So well, if they're going to make that whole north side, it's you know, private no, parking. No, it's going to be private. So yeah, so that be in front of the in between too. They can. That, he might not have enough spaces right in front of his own oh. building. So to Roger, make could, himself Roger could say, I don't like you anymore, yeah. no parking. Berkshire but, Hathaway could say, I don't like you anymore, no parking. I mean, But on, on the site plan happens. from the in-between, he had enough spots in front of his... Mm -mm. Because of the waiver. He got the waiver, oh. so he did not. He got a waiver because they have public parking both sides of the road. So if, if it's abandoned, his waiver goes away. That's correct. And then it goes back to the, the code standards. Have you worked I mean, with we, Jason? And yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see the waiver. I don't know. I have to look on that. That's all I mean, public, right? It's like, like I said, the zoning code for the overlay for a restaurant right. is just zero spots. Right. You don't need any spots. So because that's why we have public or not. That doesn't. That's to me kind of ambiguous. I mean, if you're a restaurant, yeah, you're going to park. But if you yeah, if you make parking. that private, because that was all public parking on our streets, which the village center overlay district, the reason it was done, so well, you didn't have to provide parking for people because the restaurant or the businesses were so close together, and the county, you know, they're the ones that. Uh, Came, came to us with that ordinance because of our buildings are so close together. So it made all the streets in that area open to anybody for public parking. We did that six, seven years ago. So I don't know what that's going to do to that or now. Well, I mean, that's something that's going to have right. to work I mean, out. This is something that we've been talking about. We've talked about here in the Planning Commission. We've talk, talked about it at the board meetings. We have an issue with public parking in this township. We well, we're trying to resolve that. You know, well, at this taking point, it so. away, it's not going to resolve Well, it. I think yeah. right now it's got to be handled between the, the uh, county planning and the road commission mm -hmm. with them to figure it out. We gave our 
opinions on you know yeah. his restaurant yeah. or his thing and uh, you know they'll have to take another look at it i mean we can be in contact with you know, mike but i'm sure and you're working with the I county can do it just on my own property i have by right to do it just on my own right away and i have the the few people that are but to me agreement so i could just do my yeah. own yeah and be done i just and that's fine you know i'd save my project or you know i'd have my yeah. own parking i was only trying to make the entire street look better because <coughs> what they have is the right of way right now if you want to come outside and go look with me it's it's not really a safe right away no i understand you know, that, you know, it's, for to, some reason that's been that way for <laughs> 50 <laughs> years or so it's just been the same way with the street over lake yeah. street you know it's yeah it really same way. Like, you know whether mine are first you know whether they own it for a year round or a second home i just want them to be able to park right no i understand i you know i think that's something that i could uh, see i could see it in front in front of the residential homes i could see if they want to do it in front of the residential area but not in the business district well okay so in the business district you have 10 parcels you have nine owners because they have two so there is there's four so yeah you could go like this if you want or just you know it's just kind of it would look better if it's all whoop, one yeah. way but if it's just me or if it's case by case you know that's fine i was just trying to i have no choice i have no nothing to lose everything to gain you know i've invested money a year ago obviously i'm still here fighting to try to even have a project short of me buying properties that aren't even on the market right now to gain private parking you know this is my only option no i understand yeah, so i mean you like i said you have to yeah. work it out through yeah. the yeah. uh road commission and if you get an agreement or a resolution from the mm -hmm. township board you know to go forward with yeah. that through them and then they have to work it out with the zoning as long as it meets the, the county zoning then you know yeah, there's no issue do, like yeah, i said our only issue was at the time when your site plan went through it was the parking oh yeah and that's well, it's a great problem to have for Indian River. It's, you know, I'm Well, we know that. I can tell you right now. I've been coming up here every, every year since I was a baby. Yeah. So I know the days that are slow. I know the weekends that are busy. I understand it. So. It, but I know it's been a big issue. I know the township yeah. board's been looking at it as part of the capital improvement plan to look for trying to find more parking like next to your house and, yeah. and other yeah, places heard, you know yeah, it's, it's been a real problem especially the last two years or so everybody's discovered indian river yes. and so we got more and more people it's here so it's okay. gonna get worse it's, it's yeah, so, yeah so we got it's a real issue here that's got to be addressed by both the township and the county so okay like the worst thing that you can do is not plan for public park parking. yeah that's the well that's something that we got to work on you, you know um Okay. Just thank you for your time. Uh, that's, that's okay, Joe. Thank you for uh, explaining it to us. So. No problem. Is there any other uh, public comments? The only thing I'd like to follow up with that. Uh, yeah. You know, the, I, and I obviously can't speak and won't speak for the board, and the board needs to basically stay neutral in this. But I think all of us would be remiss if we let a five or six million dollar development go <coughs> south over three parking places. Um, the DDA yesterday agreed to sign on to the parking lot concept next to your house. Um, they didn't make a commitment dollar-wise, but they did give the full board uh, their approval to go forward and investigate the actual dollars for the 23-space parking lot um, that the, basically at the corner of Martha and Club, uh, including a sidewalk access and the easement to go from the parking lot also matching the street lighting to the streetscape that's existing. So there's 23 spaces that are hopefully, cross your fingers, likely going to happen. Um, I am sympathetic to the concerns. That street and Lake Street is um, a little bit of an anomaly because it is over 100 wide. So even after you take the 17 out, it's still wider than the 66 feet that most of the rest of the little village district streets are. Um, but ultimately, it is up to the road commission. It's got to be resolved. Board, I mean, so. the thing that would happen, they would have to uh, negate some of the uh, uh, overlay district. Because right now, is that's in the overlay district, and it's all public parking, like you had brought up. Yeah. So somehow, the county planning commission is going to have to uh, change some of the uh, the rules on the, especially well, that area. And, and, and you know, planning has already made a big concession here. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, They've cut their requirements in half from 18 down to nine. So, um, but it, it, as far as the, and again, I don't, 
And you would think that if Jason's group objected, that they would object and not sign on. Um, it, it dawned to your comments, I would think that they would then just use the same spots that they have now and continue to use them for parking, even though they might be, they could obviously restrict it to their own parking. So, but well, there, has the to, there has to be a change in the overlay yeah. law or the ordinance then, if that's going to happen, which it could, it could happen. I'm not saying, because you're right, those two streets for are, some reason yeah, are, are wide. Unbelievable. I didn't realize that until about three or four years ago, and especially when you guys were yeah. putting in the condos where you can't park, you know. 34 feet wider than everywhere yeah, else, so, so 17 well, aside. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Public comments? Okay. Um, just to address your short-term rental thing. Um, I know there's some concern uh, right now. Uh, we're not Traverse City, we're not Petoskey, we're not uh, Boyne City. Uh, we don't have the, uh, the staff to write ordinance with that. Uh, I know the attorney that we have in this township, I think I brought this up before, and the lady that does our the NIMCOG, they both have written ordinances on short-term rentals. Uh, I know the board is um, looking at this. They're very concerned about short-term rentals. I've had some conversations with Mr. Kramer. He's got some ideas. He and I talked on the phone about, you know, quick, not, I want to say short-term solutions, but there are some things that we might be able to do without trying to write an order. It's going to take years, let me tell you. With courts and everything else, with these people, I hate to tell you. Just talk, well, I'm just telling you, Jill, it's not something that we, as a planning commission, the part-time people that we'll don't get paid. Years. They're right up the street. Right I the street. know where they're at. I have them on I, my I street, too. I have them on my street, too. And what Bird Lake Preservation came out with is it's a good neighbor policy. And you talk to the neighbors. And then there is leverage that you can have. And like I said, I've talked to Mr. Kramer about it. He's concerned about it. And there's things that, you know, that he's looking into, too, with short-term rentals because we're... It's becoming a real problem. Go on uh, Burr Lake Buddies. I think every other post in there is, I got a place to rent. You, you don't want to rent my place. And looks like you said, how many? There's over a thousand. How many you need? Yeah, I'm just saying is that, you know, the other thing is that I, I know that you can cross reference the, uh, uh, the tax rolls against uh, Verba and um, what's the other one? Uh, uh, Airbnb and people who get the Homestead Act. For the houses, right. there's ways you can use that leverage too. With yeah, people. a lot of them are doing that. And but there is there's a way that you could cross reference that too, and you are know without trying to write. Are they cross reference? You can do that. Okay. It's been done. I have two, and they're double taxing me. Is this <laughs> okay. over? Can we go? Okay. Yeah, you can go, Joe. Okay. Get on. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Take care. But I know it's been looked into, mm -hmm. and I'm but just saying is it's not now. something that's going to be put under easy? the rug. You know, I know Janet and I and Bob looked at a few things a few weeks ago, and uh, there's things that can be done, and it's it can be done. I know you want it done right away, but it's not going to get done overnight. Just before it's too late, then you won't have any power to do anything. Well, that's going to become an uproar. Sad. I mean, it's yeah. going to become a major problem with more than just you and a couple of people. Mm -hmm. It's got to be, you know, a groundswell with the, the people, and that's what happened in... Tosky, that's what happened in Boyd City. That's over 50 percent. Yeah, but that, they put that on a, a survey. Moves. You yeah. don't understand how close these are all together. They need to be limited. I have two across the street and four behind me. I'm talking directly. This is, you know, my way of life is gone. You know, all, all it is is short-term rentals. You know, and there, and I, that's just my little area because I'm close to the lake. They're all close to the lake, or they're on the lake. Well, it's like that all over, and I don't know um, right now what a quick solution is. But I know people it's kind are of, limiting them and putting a pause on them in townships just Yeah, right but those now, townships you know, are, they have a full, you know, their cities that do that. I think it's important because this town isn't going to be the same. We it's know that. Yeah. And you have no one that can live here and work here. So can I say something? Sure. Denise did, Denise did talk to us about Preskill Township. Now, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Preskill Township. I'm very familiar. I owned a home in Preskill Township for, I don't know, 15 years. Um, they sat down, it's a, it, it's a one horse town, I'm not kidding you, There's there are like three buildings in the town. Um, it's, all, it's all around Grand Lake. 
and they, she sat down with a group of residents and a group of short-term home rental operators, and they hammered out. Well, that's what we need ordinance. to do here. They that's something we need to do here. And like I said, I've talked to, I've talked to our supervisor, and that's that's one area we can go. Set, set people down to look at without trying to go through mm -hmm. writing an ordinance, which is going to take you years to get done, at least two or three years. Then if you can... Enforcement too. Yeah. That's well, other towns have done it, though. My town in Milford, Ohio, we got together, and we actually have owner-occupied there, where you have to live in your rental to actually have one. And it's a very small town. I'm going to call it like Mayberry. That's my town. And we have kept it like Mayberry because we got together. And uh, they did put an ordinance just together, just quickly. It really wasn't any big deal. You know, you've got all kinds of ordinances everywhere to look at, you know, to base. No, I know. We've looked at them. We yeah. started looking at so them. So I don't understand enough. why you just did Don did some research last year. I know any any rule? <laughs> Well, my tourist I mean, was sending me stuff. I mean, they're, they're researching, they've been researching it at the county level. So um, it's not just here, it's everywhere. There's a lot of places in this See, the county, county doesn't want to get involved. Their statement is it's a township problem, not the county yeah, problem. Yeah, that's why I said that you guys are the ones I understand that, but up, again, you know, so you're the ones that can do something. That's something we're trying to do. Uh, for the uh, future of without, the No, no, I understand. The fabric of the neighborhoods here. Because it's getting you worse. people like okay. me selling and not, you know, right. and not yeah, bringing up any economy. I'm just, you know, we're not, the time. we're not ignoring you. you know, we're looking you at do doing something about it. And go ahead. One, you can speak now. Would it have to be a partition drive or something, whatever, like how they did the sewer, where she has to get 51% of the people? Would that make any No, I don't think that, that matters. I did that already. I gave no, the last summer. Make, there wasn't yeah. one, but that wasn't well, we, re we realize there's a problem. Yeah. So there's there's no need to do any more petitions or okay, anything else. Yeah, yeah, just look at, just look at this, the this internet. Is be taken care of, just not at the speed that she wants it taken care okay, of. Okay, I was just asking. That's There's something exactly going to be done within the next, I would hope, the next year, whether it's sitting down with both the owners, you know, the town having a town hall meeting, bringing in the short-term rental people that rent, plus the township people, and okay, hammer something out, like you said, with it. Huh? First thing you guys need to do, not you personally, but would it that be the assessor? The yes, the sir. Assessor. Yeah, the assessor. The assessor. Wait, wait, wait. We're dealing with that yeah. We're giving yeah. the names of all the verbo and the short-term rental people. Yeah. And I, we're comparing them with the homesteads and all that kind of stuff. And we're, we're, we're already on that. Issue. That's all right. Yeah, I was with them when they were going back and talking to well, the assessor about it. Well, Joe and I would be more than having them. Well, well like I, said, I, I can just say that. Let it let it go through at the at the rate that it's going through. We have to get through this master plan. We've talked about it before. When the master plan is done, then we'll start to address the next thing. And I think if we can come up with a quick solution, a band aid, until we can come up with an ordinance to at least get both sides together. And I know Mr. Kramer is is you know looking into that too, suggesting it because he's talked to you a few times. He's talked to. Other couple were here the last time about the garbage and everything, so it's 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 a concern. The and we're not still there, by the way. And the that and that should be taken there. care of. If if, <laughs> if I can get a blight restriction on my property for 30 days, it happened on May 25th. I have been 30 days to clean up my stuff. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. So they have 30 days. So if they if they've given them, if the police went there and observed the trash, they have 30 days. And then at the 30 day point, then you start getting fines. But what she was talking about is how they're keeping the receptacles on the street. You know, that's where they're keeping them. That's what we're talking about. Uh, all of us have our garbage out just for one day. No, I understand. Yeah. Back, but theirs are always sitting out, and theirs are. Well, that's where, where they need to on the street. have somebody put it back for them. <laughs> so I have my next door neighbor well, there. They need to hire somebody. And they don't they rent, but they. Because okay. they don't live there. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I've got one. Well, go ahead. One you comment. Can. Not on short-term rentals, but the, on the, our CIP, yeah. the, the number one item on our CIP were the, the steps down to the river. Yeah. And I checked with Doug shortly before the meeting to see what the status was on that. 
and he keeps calling the guy and he hasn't gotten any, any work back. So I I'm left a message for them today. Okay. But it, I mean, there's no work started yet. <clears throat> That's going to be a real issue. People have no, uh, no confirmation that we're on the schedule. But well, that's again, not we've good. not. Yeah. Doug's been the only point of contact up until now. Okay. That, that changed today. So. Okay. Well, it's. I just wanted to. I have a comment on that too. Uh, we did send Doug down there a week ago, maybe a little longer than that, and he graded it all and made it more safe. That people didn't want to come up the hill. They're just walking up. There's not like big holes or or things like that for them to fall in. So he did work on that to try and make it a safer if they chose to walk up. If they walk up on the in-between property, we have no jurisdiction on that side of the fence, but on our side, he did try to fix it up a little bit, so it would be safer to walk on. Um, and we are trying to get a hold of the contractor to get them in here. You know, then everybody's having a problem with contractors. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing the best we can. We are on us for that. Okay, is there any more comments? If not, I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting, and uh, our next meeting will be TBD when we get the information from. We have a we have a meeting scheduled already. When's that? <sighs> we may want to change it unless we have something. No, it's our regular meeting. I yeah, but we don't, August. Have to. we don't have to. August? Yeah, I think. We All right, we'll meeting. leave it in August, and so hopefully we'll have yeah. something by then. Or before. So yeah, before, or before. Yeah. I'll second your motion to adjourn the meeting. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you all for coming.